Okay, guys, we are back on Taste of Snail, and I told you I was going to have a guest. Please welcome the star of Cassie versus. Guess who it is? Cassie! <laughs> Give her a wave! Oh, or a celebration dance, whatever you like. Internet connection unstable. That is a great start. Well, today we are going to, I'm going to teach Cassie some of my amazing baking skills and we're going to make some Nutella swirled banana cupcakes. Yum. She's so excited. <laughs> Alright, Cassie, you ready? Teach me. <laughs> I'm showing you my ways. So I've started this recipe makes 18 cupcakes for starters and I only have a 12 cupcake pan which I have sprayed okay. with cooking with um, some spray which is obviously what you use to spray something and I'm gonna just make 12 in here and then whatever's left over into like an extra pan or whatever thank you <laughs> what can I say and um, so here's something I prepared earlier it's um, basically just the flour. I'm gonna add into that a teaspoon. Oh, stuff going everywhere. Teaspoon of baking powder and a uh, teaspoon of bicarb soda. Is that what it is? Bicarb baking soda, yeah. One of each, one of each, right? Mm. Yeah. This one's not even open. All right, bam. And then a little bit of salt. That'll do it. I didn't measure that one, so if it's extra salty, my bad. And then I'm just gonna whisk all of these together. I've been using, I don't know if you noticed, but I used a fork in my other recipes because I couldn't find a whisk, which was under the sink the entire time. So I am an I idiot. But the whisk, just so you know, gets rid of all the lumps, which is like, you could just put it through a sieve anyway, you know, make it fine. But whatever, we're just gonna whisk dry ingredients this time. Okay. <clears throat> you with me so far? Yeah, uh, get following, yes. Excellent. Onto the wet ingredients. I know one of your favorite words is moist. Cassie? Moist. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. So we, I basically contacted Cassie a few days ago, or maybe more now, and I saw her banana bread attempt. Not attempt, it was good. Not attempt, sorry, that's a bit rude. Success no, of banana bread. And then, but I know you, you noticed, I noticed that you were gonna like attempt it again, you said. And then I saw this recipe. Actually, okay, this recipe is from, you know, Indy Hartwell and Simone. They've been posting like a million food recipes. Um, not recipes even, but like just amazing food things on their Instagrams. And I've just been basically going back and forth sending like the drooling face emojis to them because I, I just love, food so much and then so Indy was kind enough to send me this recipe so this is inspired by them oh how cute it's an Australian shared recipe yeah Uzzy 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 oh <laughs> I was like what's happening to her over there I got a little bit of a cramp from that okay so I'm smushing my bananas using a fork first um, to make them a little bit nice and like mushy and it's easier to combine everything then um, and then so I actually don't have the cooking oil the vegetable oil so I'm substituting butter what do you reckon of that? Oh, the same amount? yeah so I did a google search and you can and it says if you type in like what can I substitute for oil then it tells you like you can substitute butter and oh people want a house party uh oh um 
So it tells you you can substitute butter and you would use the same amount. Or it says use applesauce, but use this much. And it's like pretty handy. So I'm just gonna put my butter in the microwave to make it soft because I noticed when you did yours too, you um, had a hard time <laughs> with butter that wasn't melted. Yeah, trust me, I've done it before. You live and you learn, right? You live and you learn. All right, so I've got all my wet ingredients mixed up. I'm kind of leaving my banana a little bit chunky because why not? No, honestly, it's just because I'm getting lazy. I don't want to wash it that much more. So, oh, butter, come on, baby. Okay, adding my butter in. What else do I have in my wet ingredients? I need some vanilla extract, and that's it. So I put four bananas, half cup of brown sugar. Oh, no, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I was like, did I mess this up? Half cup of brown sugar, half cup of sugar, beat in egg, butter, and vanilla extract. So I also, in this lovely isolation, do not have eggs i only have egg whites oh, but i it's a good question but i figure it can't be that much different can it so i'm just kind of going to guess like that's about one egg's worth <laughs> we will see what happens if mine turn out terrible then it's my own fault and I also just might not tell you if they're terrible because I don't have too much pride. Yeah, maybe it wasn't baked properly and I'll be able to see it. You're right. Ooh, I really, I really might have messed this one up. I've got butter. I've only got egg whites, not a whole egg. Anyway, that's it, guys. I've mixed all my wet ingredients together. My dry ingredients are there. And now I basically just combine all of them slowly and whisk them together so I can dish that oh all right so now I've got my dry and my wet ingredients both ready flour baking soda baking powder salt I'm just gonna slowly add it in as I whisk both at the same time I wish someone else could come do these parts it's getting like hard to mix actually. I wonder why. Maybe because it has the butter instead of oil. Oh no. And I actually can't tell if they're chunks of butter in there or chunks of banana. <laughs> Ooh. Well, let's hope for the best. Okay, it's all mixed up like that. We're going to, I don't have, um, what are they like? Cupcake liners? I don't have any, so we're just gonna go for it put them in here I'll just do one for now and basically it says fill it three quarters full okay that's a little bit more than three quarters but whatever and the star of the dish Nutella um I love Nutella don't you so good can you hear me you're breaking up, but I can hear you. Because it's kind of rude not to answer that question. <laughs> from what I gather from that, do I like Nutella? Yeah, do you like Nutella? Oh, who doesn't? Come on. I'm putting I'm putting this the biggest spoonful. I didn't measure this either, but I don't want to. Because I'm living my life in isolation how I want to. And it says just to kind of swirl it through. How do you swirl it though, actually? Should I use a knife? Maybe, yeah. I'm gonna use the tip of a knife. Oh, it's a bit hard to swirl. It might just be like a dob on top. <laughs> I don't know. How do people swirl this? Unless you melt the Nutella a little bit first, maybe. Oh, I know I'm supposed to be teaching you here, but whoo. it looks just kind of like a dob on top. That's all right. All right. 
if you say so. I think I might have to melt the Nutella a bit first. All right, I'll attempt to melt a little bit of Nutella and see if it swirls a bit better. Otherwise we're going for Dobbs, Dobbs and Nutella on top of banana muffins. Back at it. I've got my, um, all my cupcakes in the pan and I tried to put my Nutella in the microwave for a little bit. Oh, so much better. Yes. So that I can actually swirl it through. She doesn't say on the recipe. So that's something that I, you can say I have clued you in on there, Cassie. So you're, yeah. wel you're welcome, basically. Did you turn your oven on? Yeah, I did. Okay, to 350, which is, I believe, about 180 Celsius, which is what mine is on. Okay. Let's see if I can swirl them a bit better. You know what would be good to swirl would be like a, um, like a skewer. Or like a toothpick or something, maybe? I am prepared, mate. What do you have? Show me. To go around. Ah. Mine's not really swirling. It's honestly just like a Nutella topped muffin. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Really? Wow, you're on to this more than I am. So maybe yours will be better than mine. Because, whew. My hands are just covered in Nutella right now. And there's no swirl going on. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be it. They're ready to go in the oven because I'm just going to go with it because I'm also hungry. And this is basically my breakfast today. It says on the recipe, breakfast um, Nutella banana muffins. I'm like, not normally what I would have for breakfast, but I mean, if the recipe is telling me that's what breakfast is, then it is today. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna eat, actually my recipe only made 12 anyway, unless I made them too big, but I'm gonna eat all 12 of these today. <laughs> That's on camera, that part. What was that? <laughs> I miss Australia so much. The time has come, Cassie, for the Cupcakes come out of the oven and my whole kitchen smells like baked banana and Nutella. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't know if these are ready yet. Oh, oh. Man. oh my gosh. Can you guys see that? They're giant for starters because I was supposed to make 18 out of this mix and I just made 12. But they've raised really well and the Nutella and on the top is actually, it does look kind of swirled in the end. So basically what we've done today is I've done my recipe first and I've kind of taught Cassie in a way. She's watched and learned and now she's gonna make her own banana swell muffins. And we're going to see who's turn out better. So it's basically Cassie versus Tennille today. Yay! <laughs> even, even though I'm supposed to be teaching you kind of like your sensei, but instead I've just kind of gone for the mine are going to be better approach. <laughs> yeah, they probably are. It's okay. But I do wish that we could compare these and taste each other's, but whatever. Well. It sounds a little dairy, doesn't it? But... That's it, the finished product basically. And I wanna say thank you to the star of Cassie Versus for being on Taste of Tennille today. You can make sure to watch her video of her hopefully successful banana swell muffins on her Instagram, which is? The Peyton Royce WWE. Bam. And um, you can see who you think did better, which was, <laughs> I didn't say anything. Um, okay. Thank you and uh, happy baking everyone. If you make it, make sure you tag us so we can see. Good luck and cheers. Whatever.
<laughs> oh my god. Struggle. Mm, and because they're warm still, I think. Yeah. It's like when you put banana bread in the oven or whatever. It's even better. Yeah. yeah. So this good. Mm hmm But thank you, um, Indy and Simone for passing this along. We finally made them. Yeah. I think I've watched her post about them twice and I, each time I comment, I'm like, why don't I just make them now? <laughs> so we did it. Yeah!